you know, there are lots of different ways to get a hold of The Woody Show. You can call in, of course. We have Julianne, the phone screener, standing by, taking your calls. 1-800-782-7987. Uh, you can also send a text over to 22987. You can send us an email, email at thewoodyshow.com. Also, there's that email button right there on our Instagram profile. At The Woody Show on Instagram, just open up our profile. There's a call button that'll take you right into the studio. Or that email button that'll populate the address stuff. And you just got to put in your message there, yep. no matter how pithy it is. Mm-hmm. Ah, pithy. You can also hit us up on Facebook, like Facebook Messenger. We get messages there. Mm-hmm. Or any of the social channels. But And we go through them. And we have the First Impression Hotline. We have all kinds of ways that you can connect with The Woody Show and really let us know what you think. And so some of those are very nice. Most of them. Most 90, of them are so kind. What would you say? I would say it's at least 90%. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. 95%. Maybe more, yeah. yeah 95. Yeah. 95% are uh, very positive people who are all in with The Woody Show. And then, uh, you know, just because of the honest nature of the show, I guess it would be, or, you know, we say insensitivity training for a politically correct world. So the only way I can really interpret the, uh, the influx of crossroads worthy uh, emails and text messages and everything else that we've been getting is that I would just assume we have a lot of new listeners. It seems that way. Okay, good. People who mm-hmm. maybe don't understand yet or weren't aware of how the whole show works and, you know, the honest or sarcastic tongue-in-cheek nature of the show, the language of the show, if you mm-hmm, will, the mm-hmm. uh, the relationships between the people on the show. Yep. But even if they've been with the show for a long time, it's weird what will set them off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. When it hits so home. weird. All when right, here, let's, uh, let's see what we have here. I got a big old stack of some emails. Okay. It's time for mm-hmm. The Crossroads. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 all right. I don't even think this music's going to work out. We're going to need uh, something for this first one, especially. I Actually, I uh, I posted this on my Twitter, <laughs> at Woody SHW. Did you see this guy? I did. All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, I this, didn't see this. This guy's angry. <laughs> Crap. He's raging. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's from uh, Damon. Okay. Subject, loyal listener gone. Oh, Uh-oh. Crap. Woody. I used to love your show, but now I can't listen anymore. From having to listen to Ravy's view on anything is hard to swallow. Ravy? Sorry, guys. She is horribly unhappy. Totally. But the kicker was you insulting Tyler the board op, acting like you don't know his name, (laughs) calling him dumbass. Please, dumbass. You're just taking out your frustrations on him. And if I was him, I would beat your ass so bad you'd be ashamed to show your face again. Would ya? I wouldn't... I'm... Wouldn't go to HR. <laughs> it's so badly uh, written. I would do it in front of everyone to humiliate you, like you try to do to Tyler. Oh, right. yeah. Payback, Woody. Damon in Chino Hills. Oh, Out. Out. Yeah. Right, well, we lost Damon. Oh, Tyler, you have a lot of brothers. He's one yeah, of them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Damon's a white trash name. <laughs> Damon? Damon. Like Damien? Like, your, your mom was a stripper. Yeah. Really? If you're Damien? Oh, yeah. yeah. Never thought Damien. Yeah, your mom was a stripper. I always thought Damien what was about Dam- fancy. Damon's right in there, too. Yeah. Same okay. thing. Right. Yeah, you know how there's, like, name association? If I, oh, I hear the name Damien. It's I just white think of, like, trash. Yeah. Oh, Somebody's yeah. been in jail. I think of the devil. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tyler has a fan club. <laughs> yeah, yeah big time. Who does? Tyler. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Okay. Delayed getting. Well, you won't make him mad because he's gone. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Mark. Mark writes in, hey, Woody Show, not sure if you guys caught this or if you just blew past it, but Ravy mentioned something on your national radio program Ooh. that she would wipe her ass with the Constitution. <laughs> oh, we caught that. Oh, yeah. We caught it. Specifically, our Second Amendment right to bear arms. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Does Ravy realize this is a federal offense? It's treason to not support the Constitution in, in the fullest. More so, it's blatantly un-American. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what's worse, though. Her blatant disrespect of our republic or your lack of responsibility as journalists. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or not journalists. <laughs> it's your job to straighten the course when one of your team members falls off like that. Shame on you. Yeah. And just so you know, 2A reads, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, end quote. Yeah, Ravy. 
Hey, if you want to go back to the time of muskets when it was written, on board. Do your duty, stick up for our country, and force that communist bitch to apologize. Whoa. Oh, damn. Never going to uh, happen. Signed, Proud American. Never going to happen, Proud American. And, uh, we've lost. Well, he, he has his name here. I met. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say it. Anyway, we lost Mark. Mm, okay. See you, Mark. Oh, Bye, Mark. Mark. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Rave. Hey, if you want to stay anonymous, you got to put it in the beginning of the message. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't wait till the end and say, uh, keep my name. Well, too bad. <laughs> Have fun with LeBron James in yeah. China, Ravy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss everybody. Oh. Uh, poor proud American. All right, how about He'll this live. one? This is uh, an email. This is from Brent in Atlanta. Hi, Woody. My name is Brent. I listen to the show on Alt 1057 in Atlanta. I'm not sure if you're aware of what happened when you were out recently with your son, but you should know that the rest of the crew created what they called their own, quote, birthday lists. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We made our, like, Metis type yeah. list. This was mm-hmm. essentially a list of things they would want for their birthdays, things they would get for free, and I can't think of anything more obnoxious than hearing a group of already entitled and privileged white oh, people. Oh, wow. white people. Uh-huh. Who I can only assume make a good living begging your audience for stuff. Oh, oh <laughs> way to get the point of the bit. If they want the stuff they wish for, they should just go out and buy it. You don't have to make public pleas to hardworking people in your audience in order to make your elitist wish list come true. Oh, my Uh God. I turned off the show, and I haven't been listening since. I just can't, in good conscience, support white privilege on the backs of hardworking people. This isn't uh-huh. Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah. What? That wow. is uh, that is from Brent in Atlanta. Oh, Brent, you know what? Bye. Brent sounds fun. If he we, does. He sounds like a party. He does sound fun. <laughs> and it's stuff you can't buy. I know. Yeah. I'm, can't s- I'm run- still up for that lunch with Kristen Bell. I know. You can't <laughs> run out and buy coffee with Dave gone from yeah. Depeche Mode. And we didn't ask come anyone. On, come on. We didn't ask anybody to do it. I mean, we're not menace here. Right. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. I have no shame. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about this one? Woo. Doing round of the Woody Show Crossroads. Uh, to whom it may concern, this is, uh, by the way, this was sent to the uh, station feedback link on okay. the website. Okay. Which automatically sends a copy to us. Just so mm-hmm. you know. If you think you're narking <laughs> us out and we're not going to know, right. we get a oh, copy. Aren't those usually the worst, though? Because they think they're going straight to management, not yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, they, they get them, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Management sees it, too. Right. Yeah. I see every one of them. We don't care about that. <laughs> no. Uh, to whom it may concern, I was excited when I found out that Kevin Smith was going to be a guest on The Woody Show. Mm-hmm. I have been a fan of his for years and always enjoy his movies. And then the interview I heard with Kevin was such a disappointment. Maybe. He talked about his heart attack and then went on to say he smokes marijuana every single day. Mm-hmm. And if I recall correctly, he said he can't even remember a day that he didn't smoke marijuana. Mm-hmm. Kevin. I think right. he said that, and yeah. not one person on the show recommended rehab. Not ah, one. Rehab. They all just laughed. And continue to. What mm-hmm. happened is that they are literally encouraging drug addiction. I do not wish to be contacted. I will never listen to this show or this station again. Jeez. Plain and simple. Oh, wow. That is from Katie. She'll be wow. missed, too. Wow. What a party these people are. How is she yeah. a Kevin Smith fan? I'm sticking the same I know. thing. Well, I, does she not know who Kevin Smith is? It's all weed all the time. Weirdo. Like, did you only watch Chasing Amy and that yeah. was it? <laughs> I'm going to miss everybody. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Should have recommended rehab. All right. We would have kept Katie. Huh. Ravy and I saw Kevin last night. We should have talked to him about it. We should have. Yeah. Pulled him aside. Have an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another angry one. Oh. All oh, right. good. How? Luciana writes in. It's on email. Hey, Woody Show. Love you guys. And when I say guys, I mean the guys on the show. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Heck yeah. Coming at you, Ravy. <laughs> Testosterone. Huh. I've been tolerating Ravy because I like everybody else, especially Seabass. Nice. Figures wow. this is a Seabass fan. Totally. Ruler. I figured you kept her around because of a hiring compliance issue. Maybe because she's old. I don't know. <laughs> the fact that she's a woman. True. True. Her yelling about fantasy football is unbearable, but my God. That story she told about kicking somebody's phone under the seats because some drunk chicks interrupted her lame Game of Thrones concert. <laughs> I'm done with her. Oh, no. And unfortunately, done with the show. No. Oh, damn it. Uh, somebody who was more background I could push through, but she's too involved in every conversation. Tell me about it. I can't tune her out. <laughs> <laughs> These girls were just having fun at what seems to be an otherwise boring event. Mm. 
but Ravi makes them pay for it because she's a selfish bitch. Mm -hmm. oh. Kick her under the seat. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's wow. from uh, Luciana. You probably would fit. Probably. Wow. I can squeeze under there. <laughs> I'll miss you, baby. Squeeze under there and stay there. Miss Luciana. <laughs> Just live under there. Miss Luciana. <laughs> all right. Wow, Ravy's really costing us. I know, right? I'm Jeez. costing us all kinds of fun people. Yeah. You should give us some cash. All right, what do you show? Crossroads. No. Oh, Ravy. Of course. Ravy. <laughs> Here's one from the 505. This is from Abel. Abel? Ow. How biblical. Oh. <laughs> I recently sent Ravi a question about my fantasy football team. Uh oh. Her advice sucked. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, man. Not only did I lose my head to head matchup, but I also lost my lock of the week and I'm no longer in my survivor uh, pool. I hear that. Oh, thanks, Rave. Great advice from a so called expert. Understood. <laughs> that bitch ruined my entire season. <sighs> wow, Ravi. From Abel. You're such a cane. Well, Menace is about to ruin her entire season. Know what I'm saying? Hey! hey. Shut your face! Well, face. it could happen. Reach out, Abel. Sorry, I got Abel. you. <laughs> Look, I'm out of Survivor as well. Damn. Blame right. the Rams. Blame the Chiefs. I blame your advice. Here, I'll give you one more. This one's uh, this one's not about Ravy at all. Thank God. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, this is an email from Michael. Michael writes in. Come on, Woody. It's time to step up your game. I've been listening to you guys for over 15 years. But wow. Really? Is that possible? Really? Yeah, it's yeah, kind of possible? possible. Yeah. Well, no. back in the Bay Area, obviously. Yeah, and then I know, probably. But that was 10, well, maybe he yeah. means you. 14. Yeah. Not us uh, as a group. Yeah, but, I, and I get it. We all continue to do right, radio. That's the right timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. All right. Whatever. And we still had our sexual relationship yeah, when we were right, apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. The Skyping mm -hmm. and stuff. Been listening for a long time, but it's time to change it up. I am sick of you bashing menace. It's Thank bad you. form. Thank you. Oh, bad form. <laughs> so what? How Menace poses. Yeah. And for what Agreed. reason he does it. Although I agree, he's doing it on purpose. Of oh, course yeah. it's stupid. But you know what you have there. He's all about his image. Remember the frosted tips? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember playing stupid like he didn't know that his hat was cocked to the side? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the mouth it. hanging Remember open. It. Uh -huh. Now the arms folded in what you call the <laughs> Pawn Stars thing. Pawn yeah. Stars. It's his character, but you keep calling him out on it. Yeah. He Obsession. obviously has value because you've kept him around. It's time for you to have an attitude of gratitude for Menace. Oh, wow. Oh, Thank you. An attitude of gratitude. Turn that front yeah. upside down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, have fun. If he would just admit to me that he ha there's a purpose to it, because it's obvious that there is. There's too much evidence that there is. But he won't even admit that. You're just obsessed. I'm just obsessed. obsessed. You're a yeah. hater. Fine. If, that, if that's what helps like, you, And I would like I'm to continue obsessed. the obsession. I am obsessed. Maybe I enjoy it. I mean, yeah. look. I'm obsessed it's with menace. people who lie right to their face. Be obsessed. Right to their yeah. friend's yeah. face. I'm Aww, obsessed. Babe. Yeah. Babe. How you look right at me obsession like that and lie. for men. <laughs> it's obsession for Woody. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Michael's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Your obsession cost us. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. guy. I know. A 15-year relationship. It's so beautiful. Jeez. So that means we have 15 days to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Ah. <laughs>